and Googie with Gilby and Parmalee. Welcome back to the latest episode of Cooking with Kelby. I've got my boys from the band Parmalee. They're in the house, yeah. and we're gonna make berries. Campfire stew surprise. That's all right. That's not what it is. <laughs> what is it but we're making the what name up right now. It's, it's berries going. campfire bake. We're gonna make berries campfire oh, yeah. bake. He's gonna show us how to do it in the kitchen or at the campfire, wherever you happen to be. Glad to have you guys here. Hi, yeah. Glad to be here. Yeah. Drinking how, some beer. How hey. about a bush light cheers? Bush light cheers. 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 Let's get to work, people. Let's do it. All right, what we got going on here? We got a little bit of ground beef. Lean and mean. Big ass onion. <laughs> you got one big onion. Some celery sticks. Baby carrots. These are 69% uh, lean. <laughs> and some aluminum foil. Is that foil. heavy duty or what? It's is just that? heavy duty. That's 200 square feet. Lots of aluminum foil. Make a TV antenna out of the leftovers too, right? <laughs> Free cable <laughs> when you're done with this meal. This is perfect. I can't wait to see how we're gonna put this all together. Over here by the banana hammock. What do we got? <laughs> got some, uh, some sea salt. We've got some I'm uh, not sure on the pronunciation of this. Worcestershire. It could be Worcestershire or Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. The origin of this is unknown. It was actually British chemist Lee and Perrin that developed this. It's actually a fermented anchovy mm -hmm. sauce. You're learning something brand new every day on, on cooking with Kelvin. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. All right, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. We need some yeah. garlic salt. There you go. Oh man, just use this. This is everything. Or just put everything on it. All right, it's full of chopping time. Come on, man. Come you on, there's a muscle behind it. I thought you worked out, man. Right, let's get another one. We need to double that up. You guys are doing a great job. Couldn't have done it without y'all. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to chopping. Always remove your sticker from your onion. Stick it on Scott's hand. Always yeah. cut these little pieces off the end. Yeah, you don't need that. First person cries got to pay 100 bucks. There's more than one way to chop an onion on Cooking with Kelby. I love having friends in town when we're doing Cooking with Kelby because then I don't have to do as much of the cooking. <laughs> you have to clean up. <laughs> How's that? Is that? Do you like them like this, Barry? Just give her one more cut down the middle and you're All good. Right. To go. Well, as we're gonna learn, there's not gonna be much cleanup. We're just using the aluminum foil and we just got some plastic silverware. Yeah, aluminum. Perfect for late night kissing. I think we might need a little more beer. Maybe. More bush light. Yeah. On to the carrots. These are supposedly already pre-washed. We're just gonna believe them. We're gonna believe that. First. You get them in the bag with these small baby carrots. You don't have to worry about chopping them up or anything. Just put one handful here. Are you counting the carrots, man? No, I'm not counting the carrots. I'm doing it by the handful. Down to a dilemma here. There's one here, one here, and we're gonna split this one in half. It's, oh, these are kind of chewy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're looking pretty good on the carrot. Oh, by the way, should we preheat the oven? What are we going with here? You might want to keep it on about 420. 420, so 420 yeah. sounds good. Uh, we have some celery. We got some here. celery. Let's trade the celery. Right? <laughs> it's a good idea. Where's, where's the sink at? <laughs> Sink's over there. We'll be right back, everybody, on Cooking with Kelby. We're featuring Parma Lee. Stick around. <laughs> I gotta go drain the celery. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Now we gotta cut the celery. You know what to say about celery, don't you? I, I, I do. Really, really good ranch, ranch dressing. dressing. Yeah. That's the uh, PG-13 <laughs> version. Just watch your fingers there, Barry. The secret is always hold your hands like that. All right, All right, let's divvy this out. Everybody got clean hands? Get in there, boys. All, All right. right. We decided to split this up into thirds because we had a lot of ingredients, so that's okay. We're just going to split everything up. We're winging we're it. We're winging yeah. it right now. <laughs> All right, bring on the meat. See, here's the thing you about Barry's Campfire Bake. You don't want to get total lean stuff. You need a little bit of fat. The juices and the grease is what's going to help cook all the rest of the vegetables. Right, so, yep. that's right. Well, Scott, make yourself useful. Yeah. How am I going to read till he? Oh, Teamwork. Teamwork. Well, <laughs> we need a little seasoning now. Oh. Matt, put some garlic salt on there. Right. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now, we think it might need a little bit of everything. A little every everything. Big shout out to Flavor God in the house tonight. <laughs> there we go. Small. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for everything. Mmm. Put a little salt on there. <laughs> a little fresh cracked pepper over here. Oh, you fancy. We got to start building these lips up. Come on, Noah. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Here, let me sail into the harbor <laughs> next to you over here. Sail into the harbor. <laughs> Put a little bit of this Worcestershire sauce on it. You kind of want to make it up into a ball. We got a lot of ingredients here, so just like that. All of them. Oh, Barry is up to the challenge. Yeah. It's not tight enough. We're going to need a roof. Barry, I'm going to pass along the aluminum foil to you. That's how they make Hershey's Kisses, just on a larger level. <laughs> Everybody wonders how they taste so good. We're going to put a bow on it. We're going to put it in the oven. That's right. it right there. Yeah. Right. We can bake this on the campfire, or we can bake it in the oven, right, That's Barry? Right. That's exactly we, right. We're going to bake these at 420 for how long, Barry? How long? We're going to go for about 40 minutes. About 40 minutes. We're gonna finish out the other two here. Come back in about 45 minutes. We're gonna eat. Drop it up and eat it. <laughs> I'm cooking with Kelby, featuring Parmalee, my special guest today. This had been funny Skip if y'all came around to this side of the counter and hey. nobody had any pants on. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're back. We've had. <laughs> We've had a good time, y'all. We've had oh, a good time. Yeah. We've had Barry's campfire bake in the oven for about 45 minutes on 420. Yep. Let's check it out. Let's see check it out. Grab your mittens right here. Woo! Oh. 
Matt, yep. why don't you do the honors? Uh, it's gonna be hot now. Hot, Watch out. Hot. Insert it cuss word here. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, see, Perfect it, perfection. If man. I was sitting by the campfire or if I was in the kitchen and I was hungry as hell, this, either way, this I, looks amazing. I think we did a pretty good job here. Let's and, dig in. All right. Mmm. Mm. Is that everything? Who finger knows that? <laughs> Man, well, this was a lot of fun, guys. I'm really glad Thank to have you guys Thank over. You, Kelby. Thanks for coming and hanging out on Cooking with Kelby. Everybody, we'll see you next time on Cooking with Kelby. With Parma Lee. Yeah! yeah! Delicious. <laughs> Cheers. No, it's good as shit. Mm-hmm. I'm starving. It's good. <laughs> it actually, it's real good. That's a wrap. Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> Dude, I'm cool, man. Yeah, man. Hey. Cooking with Kelby and Parmalee.